Yeah, uh, he has a strained hamstring, and uh, we're going to reevaluate in a week. Do you have a time frame beyond that? Not really, no. Coach, after watching the, after watching the film uh, from last, the other night's game, what are you going to be able to take over to the next one? Some yeah. of the positives. Yeah, I mean, there were a bunch of positives. We played hard. We played with space. We created threes for each other. We made a bunch of threes, which was good. Um, and we closed. And that was the main message and thing that we worked on today as far as three minutes to go in a game, up or down three. This is what we're looking for. These are the things that we're trying to execute. And, um, you know, taking the positive result that we had doing that last game and needing that as we go forward is going to be super important. Yeah, it's definitely hard to have those conversations with him. And I, I had anticipated him playing that night, so that made it even worse. So uh, we had a conversation around it, and um, I told him that I had planned on playing him. And, you know, with – if Seawood starts at the five, and then we have Alpi at the five, um, having three guys play that five spot uh, is a little bit tough. But I told him I'm going to be intentional about hopefully getting him in the game. How was Jalen uh, handling that news and just his total mindset first time getting hurt? Yeah, his mindset's good. Uh, he is anxious to get back quicker than a week, obviously, but uh, he was happy that we won and, and uh, pumped for his teammates and knows that he has to go through this process of working with the performance team to get back. So he's that very driven as far as getting back, but also there's a level of disappointment, I'm sure, that uh, he's not letting on to. Along those lines, Stephen, um, is it a bigger challenge keeping a young guy, being patient, not trying to rush things? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he wants to play right now. He wanted to practice today, you know, but he just can't. So there is going to be that impatience when it comes to him, but he also needs to know that this is an 82-game season, and we are in November, <laughs> so we need him to be right when he gets back so he doesn't have to deal with this over and over and over as the season goes through, goes along. He started playing Garrison Matthews before he learned everybody's name, and I think he still does it. <laughs> um, what did you see? Uh, I saw someone who wasn't afraid of the moment at all. Uh, he is a good shooter. He takes charges on defense, is in the right place on defense, and has a toughness about him that uh, is needed for our group. So, yeah, throw him out there, and he shows all those things that you know, leads to more playing time for him. He struggled a bit with his shot before yeah. the other day. Does it show something to be able to struggle and then still hit the shot with 15 seconds left? Absolutely. I mean, he's a worker. He's diligent. He's... Uh, shot well in the NBA pr prior to coming here, so he's super confident. Uh, but yeah, after he made the one in the uh, first half, and he was like, finally! And then he made the big one in the corner, and uh, wasn't at all afraid to take the shot, and that's what I love about him. Did he, it seemed like he was a little more judicious about which ones to put up, yeah. rather than as soon as it touched his hands. Yeah, yeah, so the first one he took was like, quick and off, off the pin down or a handoff or something coming up the left side to his right hand. It's super quick. And uh, yeah, those aren't the ones we want. We want the more catch and shoots, but I'd rather rein him in than uh, like prod him to shoot. Is that a conversation you had since Boston? Yeah, yeah. the uh, shot selection one. Yeah. How much do shooters like Garrison and Armani unlock things oh. offensively for this team? A lot. I mean, we need we need points. We need threes. Uh, we need spacing. So yeah, having those two guys out there, knowing that they're going to be threats first and foremost, uh, is important. And then them making the shots on top of that helps everybody play well. So uh, yeah, the shooting piece is really big piece.